Hi everyone, my name is Raj Shekhar. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be seeing tips on fixing or addressing the issues which you might encounter when trying to patch DMX lights for a scene. This applies specifically to users who are using Unreal Engine 4.27 and the earlier versions. Problem which I'm referring to has been fixed in the latest version though. However, people who continue to use 4.27 and the earlier can make use of the tips which I'm going to share in this video. I'll also be sharing you uh, tips on how to manage the scene effectively on any version. We'll also be seeing level sequencer tips on the Sharpie color values, fixing the lens flare, how to customize the DMX template which I've shared with people, things to note before you make any changes, also how to get in touch with me in the event if you have any doubts. Any concerns or any doubts which might take few 5-10 minutes of our time, it's fine with me. Uh, but if you want me to sit with you uh, over the remote and elaborately discuss on the process then I might charge you for that which we will discuss uh, over email. Finally things you need to do before asking for a session that is to be ready with uh, the template either on Unreal Engine or Unreal Campus ready before we get started. Uh, let's get started. So I have my uh, DMX template scene which I've shared with people and uh, my advice always make a copy, a backup of your DMX library. You can exactly create a backup at a point when you have completed creating all the lights and when you have patched it. That is the best time to take a backup. So in the event something happens here you can always restore it from the backup file. I'll show you how. Say for example in my uh, template you have you decide to create four more lights so you have duplicated it uh, four times making it a total of five and then you go to patch and then you patch all the lights which you created Three, four, five. so all the lights are patched and then you save and then you get back to scene and link all the lights to the best morning patch file that happens. Suddenly you decide you no longer need this static lights in the scene. You want to get rid of it. So you get rid of all the lights on the scene. And then you also get back here to delete the unused static lights. The moment you delete the lights, it will give you a prompt. And when you choose yes, and everything looks fine here. But when you go to patch, everything turns red. So all the uh, patch information of every other light has been lost. So this is what you need to be careful about. And added to it, what will happen is you'll have to relink all the lights to its corresponding patch file. So that becomes one more headache. So if you have backup in place, you can easily take care of that. So I'm deleting this off. I'm going to copy and paste it. And I'll rename my library again. The moment I get inside so everything is back to normal so this is about 4.27 and the earlier version of Unreal Engine now let's do the same mistake in the latest version so I've opened up a project already the one which I recently worked on so now as you see there are a lot of sharpies on the scene and suddenly I decide I don't want this much sharpie so I go to my DMX library so as you see I always have a backup of my DMX library so now I'm going to fix your types. I just only want 30 lights and I want 34. So I'll remove four lights. I'll say yes. I go to fix your patch. So this version does not turn red. So that's the difference between the older and the newer version. Okay, hope you get the uh, idea here. I'll restore it again from my backup file. The moment you restore your DMX library from a backup, let's see whether the patch information on all these uh, lights remains the same. Let me randomly go to the 10th uh, light and uh, let me check the DMX. The information is removed and if I check one more light, you need to repatch it. So as long as you're in the 4.27 version and above, we have open patch tools, so we don't need to worry about that. So I'm going to select all the lights in order and then DMX open patch tool I'll choose my DMX library that's my library and then I'll select the first patch address increment the moment I do that so let's check 2 
22 is going to the second patch file. Let me check randomly on 20. 20 is going to 20. Uh, that's about uh, replacing your current uh, DMX library from a backup and repatching all the lights. So please do keep in mind about these two uh, workflows uh, irrespective of any version which you use. Let's move on to the level sequencer. Um, opening my level sequencer and I'll add my DMX library here. It's going to add uh, just one light randomly. I'm just going to add the tenth number. Creating a key, turning on the auto key. I'll move a little ahead and try to change the values. Okay, so that's my light but nothing seems to be happening on screen possibly the antivirus let me disable it temporarily i've disabled my antivirus and the light is lit up so this is one small workaround which sometimes happens so now what i was trying to show here is uh, the light is currently facing the other way let me tilt it okay so i'll share you a few uh, tip about the uh, color numbers so if you want red the number is i'm sorry if you want green the number is 0.17 and if you want orange it's 0.41 and the red is 0 0.04 and the white is by default 0 0.01 the first light and the yellow is 0.28 I'll be uh, pinning this color value in the comment section so people who are interested can make use of this uh, which will save your time so the next thing which we're going to look is the lens flare as you see on the screen, when I'm pointing, when the camera is facing directly on the light, you get a lens flare like this. And this in turn gets rendered out on your sequences as well. Uh, to fix this, what you can do, go to Outliner, search for post-processing volume, which I've already added. Select that, go to Details, and search for a Lens Flare. Search it fully, and you get the Lens Flare. Select the value and drop it down to zero. Now, as you see, there is no more uh, lens flare on the scene and uh, things are looking neat and if you require lens flare slightly add the value as say 0 0.1 or 0 0.05 in that range in the event if you need them on your scene okay the next tip is about how to customize the scene which i've given you you can uh, expand the scene or increase number of lights to uh, however you want so say you want to duplicate this uh, truss i've kept it folder you can duplicate that as a hierarchy scale it down you can rotate it you can position it however you want and again when you want one more uh, truss you can duplicate the hierarchy again and follow the same step that's about the truss and as far as lights are concerned uh, before you make any change right away make a, a backup of it and then get inside the DMX library. Uh, let's say you want uh, nine more pyros. So let's duplicate it nine times. So we have totally of 10 pyros on the scene. Once you duplicate uh, the required lights, not just pyro, any lights for that matter, um, you can go to fixture patch and then patch all the pyros which we duplicated. Okay, so patched everything, save the progress and then get back to the scene before that we'll have to duplicate uh, the existing pyro we only have uh, two so let's duplicate it from the outliner so here's a pyro let me yeah that's done let me select the pyros in order from 3 to 10 and then go to dmx open patch tool this is your library select the library and then patch you choose it from third because one and two is already patched so select third and then you push address incremental and now if you go and check the third select it details Let's slightly modify this tab it's going to the third patch and uh, let's check the tenth 10 is going to 10 so it's successfully patched as long as you're maintaining the uh, sequence selecting them in order selecting the correct patch file it will be done perfectly how do you get in touch with me for one-on-one -on -one session before you email me people who are fans of level sequence alone download that template and keep it ready on your computer 
and people who want to use both uh, Unreal Engine and Campsys, check that video and download that uh, appropriate project file and keep it ready. Email me your requirements. We will discuss and we can take it forward from there. It was nice connecting to you all through this video. I'll keep in touch with some more videos on uh, DMX tips as well as any other interesting topics which I come across in Unreal Engine. And for people who are seeing this video for the first time in my channel, I'll be putting a complete playlist at the end of this video. Do check it out. Do share it to your friends and family who would be interested to learn the DMX workflow within Unreal Engine. Do subscribe to the channel and looking forward to see you again. Thank you all. See you next time. Take care. Bye.